I'm Dr. Daniel Resnicek from Pacific Northwest Urology, and today I'm going to be talking about erectile dysfunction. What is erectile dysfunction? Erectile dysfunction is the inability for a man to achieve or maintain an erection satisfactory for intercourse. How common is erectile dysfunction? Erectile dysfunction is very common. Studies have shown that over half the men age 40 or older have erection problems at some point, and this increases with age. By the time men are 80, up to 80% of men have difficulty with erections. What are some of the risk factors for erectile dysfunction? The three most common risk factors are vascular problems, diabetes, and medications. Other problems may lead to erectile dysfunction as well, such as neurological issues, endocrine problems, and pelvic trauma or surgery. However, some men who are otherwise healthy get erectile dysfunction as well. These risk factors just put you at a more likely odds of becoming uh, impotent or having erectile dysfunction. Erectile dysfunction can have a significant impact on a man's psyche, his relationships, and even his overall health. Oftentimes, men feel that it's their fault or they've lost part of their manhood when they're unable to get an erection. Early on, ED can also be intermittent, which I think is the most frustrating thing for men and their partners. They spend all kinds of time trying to figure out why they're getting erections sometimes and not others, and sometimes their significant others feel that they're not sexually attractive anymore. This can lead to a significant strain on relationships as well as depression. It's important to note that it's not your fault and that it's not hopeless. Erectile dysfunction is very treatable. When a man becomes sexually aroused, the nerves in the penis become activated. These then signal to the muscles surrounding the arteries to relax and to allow increased blood flow into the penis. This allows the penis to become stiff. Once firm, the veins become squeezed and prevents blood from exiting the penis, maintaining the erection. Well, the first step in treatments is usually an oral medication. There are many on the market today, including Viagra, Cialis, Levitra, Staxin, and Stendra. These all work primarily the same way. The drugs improve the signaling from the nerves to the muscles that surround the arteries in the penis and allow more blood flow into the penis than usual. The biggest difference between the medications is how long they last. There are some other medications that can be given directly to the penis in a much stronger fashion, either by injection or urethral suppository. There are non-medication options, such as a vacuum erect device. And if none of the other options are working, uh, there is a penile prosthesis, which can give any man an erection. For all the other options, other than oral medications, I'll be giving another video in the upcoming weeks. Thanks for watching our video today. If you want more information, please see our website or check out our Facebook page.